Do you think, um, jumping back a bit, when you were saying how, how frustrating it was to train people and invest so much of your time and then watch them leave, uh, and then you started, you know, keeping it, uh, making it a little bit less personal, more professional relationship, training them and whatnot, do you think it was that or having those ways of growing into different roles uh, that played a bigger role in keeping your staff loyal? Well, I knew for me that there were certain roles that need to be played, right? If you're if you're going to have a business of a certain size, certain certain um it's like anything. It's like in a family there has to be a certain dynamic played by certain people. And I knew like I could take on the leadership role and I could take on the the business vis- visionary role, but for me it was more important that we we had to branch out into the creative director role. And I would I just wasn't interested in doing it. And to be honest, I'm I'm not I'm lazy and I'm not that um, dedicated to the craft and this sounds awful, but I'm not so dedicated to the craft and the prep work of creating incredible images. Mm-hmm. I can do a really commercial haircut and I'll, I'll out grad Bob like 99% of the world. But when it comes to putting something in front of the camera, it's, I just don't have that thing and I'm not really willing to invest my time into doing it so we needed that in order or else everybody would stagnate within my brand and nobody would sort of surpass me everybody would just get to my level and that would be it so i think uh, that in the industry they don't differentiate you know what it is to be a great salon hairdresser versus it to be a great platform artist to be a great session hairdresser they're completely different completely different different. skill sets and mentalities absolutely and and the guys that can do all those things I know a couple of these guys. Um, a friend of mine, Edwin Johnston, with KMS, who yeah. he just won Master Hairdresser. He can be all of those things. He's as yeah. technical as he wants to be. He's creative. He's a studio guy. He can do all that shit. For me, right. I'm really only good at, at one thing, which is salon hair. And I'm really good at salon hair. And actually, to be honest, I'm probably not that good at it anymore. I think <laughs> I was probably a better hairdresser 10 years ago than I am today. I think I was probably more creative and I had more time to be yeah. awesome. Now um, now I've got my clients and they've maybe aged a little bit with me too. And, um, and it's more for us, it's about the visit. But I got, you know, people come into my salons and I've got so many amazingly talented people working for me. Um, and we've just kind of branched off. And now what it is, what I've done as a, as a business owner is I don't try to I don't try to pigeonhole people. What I try to do now is to find what their strengths are and then encourage them to become that person. So I've got a guy who's an amazing um, educator. He's he In our school, he gets the most amazing reviews. So for me, it's in my best interest to take that guy and turn him into the education director of my company. You know, I've got Alina who is an incredible creative talent, the most amazing studio talent. Now she's also a lot more than that, but you know, it makes sense that that's the role for her. And I've got a, you know, I've got one girl that's crazy about color corrections, so she could be like the technical director. It's about for me, it's it's pit, putting square pegs into square holes and finding where people fit so that we can create this perfect thing. Yeah. And uh, and I want to create this utopian kind of hair salon environment where everybody sees opportunities, everybody finds different mentors. Um, you know, you don't all have to be the same person. I I love Sassoon's, but. For me, the the concept of a Sassoon vibe is a bit archaic. Um, yeah, it's cool, but it's for me, it's 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 not the way it, it needs to be anymore. There's so many different ways to do things, and I want my guys to to branch out, and I want where I am to be their base level, mm-hmm. so that they can do what I can, but then they just branch out into being the most amazing talents yeah. in other ways. Yeah. 